Hello, 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 welcome guys and girls to another episode of Old School Money and today things may work a little different but that all depends on you guys. We're going to be we're gonna be playing Pokemon Colosseum for the Nintendo GameCube. This game just fits in because I like to play games which are over the age of 10 years and this was released in 2004 so it just creeps its way in there so I'm really excited for this one. I hope you guys are too because this was actually the first ever Pokemon RPG game which was made in 3D and a lot of people get this all say that I really wish they would make a, a 3D open world RPG Pokemon game when there's already one that's actually out there. And a lot of people do say that X and Y was the first, but obviously not because Colosseum and it also is XD Gale of Darkness, which were released before that. But anyway, I had a tough time choosing which game I was going to play today. It was this game, I had Nights into Dreams, which is pretty awesome. I had DuckTales, which I've got right here. The remastered version which I've actually never played but I used to love the TV show so maybe next week but that depends on what you guys want to see so we're gonna jump straight into this right now and try and relive the memories that I had so there's no Pokemon Coliseum save file so it looks like I've lost my save file tragic okay so I guess we're gonna start a new game continue okay we got story mode battle mode Obviously we're going to start a new game, but that's pretty cool about mode. I know you can import your Pokemon from the Game Boy Advance. I think it's from Ruby and Sapphire, if I'm correct. I'm not sure anyway. Your name. Okay. So I'm not sure what the character's name is supposed to be. I guess we'll just use a new name. We will name ourselves... My name is Jordan, so I guess we're going to go with that. Okay. I hate it in some games where it gives you like free inputs and you can't even fit your name in there, but this one just about right for me to start this game. Alright, so here we go guys. Alright, so we begin things here guys, this is it, Pokemon Colosseum, it's been a long, long time, maybe too long. So this is actually the first the first out of the two, there's XD, Gale and Darkness, and then Colosseum as I mentioned before, so I guess I thought it was best to start with this one, but anyway. We're sure picked out, huh? I love chewing down after a job, it adds to the flavour, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch too. Boss, be sure to fix us up with with big rewards too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Alright, so I'm not really good at this voice acting thing, so I'm not sure if you guys want me to do the voice acting myself or you want to read the dialogue on your own. Just let me know and I'll be sure to do to do whatever suits you guys best. So anyway, we're going to explore and see what's going on inside this little hut. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on a mysterious building that exploded in Eclo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation that should become apparent eventually. Alright, so I guess we better stay on the down low. Because, yep, that was us. Oh, 
I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveller, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might might have come from, but relax. Stick around a while. Okay, well, best, best talk to everyone. You know I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you, crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live in a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. <laughs> There's no forgiving that team Snagum. They don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon from trainers. Why, they'd give a hip-hop parade if they were wiped out with, the, with their wrecked hideout. And last but not least, this guy with a crazy hair. If he wants to speak to us. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? I believe I am. Huh, I can tell, and you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the, opp if the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Huh? Boa, I doubt I'll have any chance of beating you. I guess we can battle right now if you're up for it. Okay, so I guess we don't speak to this guy. Hey, do you know about Team Snagum? Yes, I do. They're a seriously nasty lot. There's no telling how many trainers have suffered at their hands. Alright, so that does it for inside there. Yo, wait up! Hey, my name's Willy. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge about you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So what'd you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Okay, I guess I better accept. That's the spirit. Alright, alright, over here, this way. Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom vroom, let's roll. <laughs> Alright guys, this is going to be our first Pokemon battle of this game. Rider Willy would like to battle, let's do this. So, in this game, you get the choice of Espeon and Umbreon. But right now, I believe we, we double battle with both of them. Yes, we do. Alright, so we're level 26 and a level 25. It's a bit strange how they're both different levels, but anyway. Let's see what moves we've got. We've got Bite, Secret Power, Taunt, and Snatch. I guess we're going to bite this Zigzagoon. We're just going to work on the one first. We'll take one down and then work on the other. And Confusion on the same one. So I've, I've pretty much played every Pokemon game from the beginning. I did take a little break in between, I think it was Ruby and Sapphire actually. And then was it, was it Black and White that came out next? I never played the first black and white so I played black and white 2 never completed it because X and Y released and I jumped straight to Pokemon Y and finished that and that was definitely an awesome game I would definitely recommend playing that game if you haven't yet okay Zigzagoon uses Tackle I remember you can always catch this game early on in Pokemon games or in the newer ones anyway I never I was never a fan of this Pokemon mainly because it's Attacks. Okay, return. Okay, I'm just gonna get used to my attacks. I've been out of the game for a while now, so I need to f familiarize myself with all these moves again. Alright, there we go. Zigzagoon is down, so we've won our first battle. Gotta be happy with that. And we've got two survivors. And gained a little bit of experience. Alright, cool. We've defeated Rider Willy. I still need to season him. But yeah, you're tough, real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in... F Fenac City. <laughs> it's out west of here. Alright, sorry guys. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battle in them. Alright, so that's a strange... A strange city. I definitely pronounced that wrong. So I apologise for that. Anyway, we finally get the chance to explore where I, I thought we did. Alright, outskirts stand, that's where we are right now. We're going to head into this, this city here. A gorgeous jewel of a town that overflows with water in a forbidden desert. Okay, so travelling this game, this is pretty much it right here. You travel on this hovercraft motorcycle kind of thing. And that's pretty much how you get to A to B, so... It's cool in the way, it can get a bit repetitive, I guess. You can't fly to cities like you can on the portable versions of the game. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this... It won't stop squirming. 
makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. Help! Someone let me out, kidnappers. Tch, that tape didn't keep a yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, drat. Did that punk there hear all that? Since you ever heard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Damn, so we've got another battle coming up here. So I'm guessing another double battle. I think every battle in this game is actually a double battle. I think. If I remember clearly. Okay, I, I don't really know how you pronounce this Pokemon's name. A Wisma or something. I was never too fond of the newer Pokemon. I, I prefer the classics from Pokemon Blue, Red and Yellow. And I do like a lot of them in Pokemon Gold and Silver, some of my personal favourites, like Cyndaquil. I prefer the legendaries, you got Lugia, some really cool Pokemon. I do like some of the newer Pokemon I guess, but I definitely prefer the older Pokemon. Probably that's when I first started playing, that's probably the reason why. But anyway, I did want to mention this game is very different to the portable version of the Pokemon games. In these games, it's not your typical beat the eight gym leaders, go to the Elite Four and all that kind of stuff. In this game, it's more story driven, so you've got to stick to the plot of the story. There's no wild Pokemon you can go around catching. Nothing like that. You can catch Pokemon in this game, it's like they're like shadow Pokemon. You, you catch other trainers' Pokemon. And then you gotta purify them in some sort of way, but we'll get to that when it comes up. Okay, so Umbreon has leveled up. Level 27. Okay, you're tougher than you look. Okay, so that's one of the trainers down. I'm guessing we may fight the other one now. You took out my Wisma. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh? Wait a sec, that face. Might you be Team Snaggums? What, what, what's going on out there? Eek, somebody. Robbers, they're robbers! You, you, be quiet, we're no robbers, we're kidnappers, get it? Kidnappers! What? You dingbat? Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll thrash you. Your Pokemon and all. I'll trash you, not thrash you. Oh, yuck. There's someone inside there. Gah, this is tight, good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a, what a horrible thing to do. Oh, <laughs> no idea we had to move there. Please, we need your help. Alright, the sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. Yes, I think it's the best thing to do. We tugged the knot, but not gradually loosened. Jordan undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Oh, hello. Phew, thank goodness, I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Phoenix City. The opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are... Oh, so your name Jordan? I am. Okay, you, new name. We, what should we call this girl? We're gonna call her Yuki. I think that suits her. Alright. My name's Yuki. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the, the neighbouring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys? Did they use a peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no. No, that's fine then. Well it's, easy to, well, it's easy to see some things on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor, yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey Jordan, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please can I get please can I get you to escort me for a while? I guess I can. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> I thought you might say that. 
if you're with me, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. Yuki became a partner. Alright, so there we go, guys. A pretty intense start to this story. So I was wondering if you guys have ever played this game before. If so, please let me know your thoughts on this game. And if you prefer this or XD Girl of Darkness or the portable versions. So young. So young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle a place. We've got another battle coming up here. Okay, the fun old man Drake would like to battle. Okay, I guess we'll go easy on him. He's not the... Oh, he's quite elderly, I guess. Okay, Sentry and Hoot Hoot. And I'm a huge fan of the Hoot Hoots. Especially when they evolve into Noctowl. But anyway, there's no reason to go easy on him. Okay, so we've, we're still with Espion and Umbria on here, so maybe I was wrong about having a choice between two. I'm not sure. Anyway, so Hoot Hoot's like a flying psychic type, type of Pokemon, so... I'm not going to use confusion on him. Alright, oh god. Just survived it. Bite, okay, this fight will take it down. Critical hit. Could have done with a critical hit in the first place, but never mind, he's down. Alright, so now the Hoot Hoot. Hypnosis, oh no. Oh goodness. He misses attack. Phew. Okay, we use Bite and Return. Alright, so I was thinking of doing a full playthrough of this game. I know I'm doing it. I know I don't really do playthroughs of my Monday series. But if you guys do want to see more of this game, just let me know and I'll be happy to bring it to you. If not, then I'll just play this game my own time. So I guess it's your choice, guys. It's all about you. So let me know. Because I would definitely be happy to play this game. I'm going to play it regardless anyway. Because. It's just been too long, and I've completed X Pokemon Y now, so I just feel in a Pokemon spirit, so I want to play a Pokemon game. All right. Oh yes, you're young, but you've got a bit of spine. Why? You're just like me when I was young. Well done indeed. Okay, so I think it's enough battling now. I guess we're gonna explore the city. Actually, no. I think we've got to find the mayor. Okay, it was somewhere on the left. I remember him saying that Team Snagum doesn't frighten me. After all, where those people are is far away from here. They wouldn't come out here. The thugs of Pirate Town, they're much more frightening to me. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing all these cities correctly. So my apologies once again. This is actually the most I've ever read out loud before. But anyway, okay, this is... This looks like the Pokemon Center, I'm guessing. I guess we better treat our... A Pokemon to a nice healing. Right, hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Okay, I guess you guys have heard this speech far too far too many times, so I'm just gonna ignore reading this one out. Pretty much the same as the portable versions there. Okay, I doubt there's much else to do inside here, so we're just gonna go and find the mayor. Okay, one thing I do want to show you, this is what my, my rabbit did to my GameCube controller. You can see that on my left analog stick. She was chewing it to pieces, no idea why. It was really, it really frustrated me, but... Oh well. And this, is, this is actually my last GameCube controller. I have no idea where my other ones are. But anyway, we're going to find this mare right now. Hmm. I guess you're a travelling trainer. I like what I see in your expression. <laughs> Whatever that is. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> okay, strange. Who on earth was that guy? Okay, I guess we better scope out this place. Okay, this is the mayor, I believe. The mayor's always a, a big fat person. Oh, you must be travellers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I am SK, the mayor. Now you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Um, uh... Oh, what may I do f for a pretty young lady like you? Uh, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. 
and that Pokemon would attack people. <laughs> My Pokemon? Like a fighting machine? And it attacks people? Now if that were true, that would be truly frightening, however, it is a little hard to believe. It's true, it's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon. I was made a prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no. There is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish. Especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer as yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting our Oasis City. Alright, we're going to explore the mayor's premises right now. See if he's got any goodies lying around. Anything like that, so... Let's get to it. Oh, hi, aren't you a cute guy? Giggle. It must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Okay, my giggling acting will be pretty bad, so I just thought I'll say giggle instead. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else to do here. Also, one thing before I finish this video. I did speak to a few of you guys about starting an anime series where we'll watch a couple episodes and I'll review it and then we'll talk about it in the comments. Let me know in the comments of this video which anime you'd like to start. I've got a few in mind. I've got Cowboy Bebop. Um, I got Bleach, I'm currently watching Naruto, what else do I have? I'm just looking around my bedroom, seeing what, what animes I got. I got a few films, anyway just let me know, try and find, find out your favourite animes or ones you're dying to see and we'll watch them together and I'll review them and we'll speak about it, it'll be good fun guys so. Anyway I'm going to end this video here right now guys so if you do want to see more of this game just let me know, we'll start a series of it. and. It's been good fun, I definitely want to start a series of this, so just let me know guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll be back with more of this game, hopefully. Next week we'll have maybe some DuckTales, we'll have Knights maybe, Rayman, first ever Rayman. Just let me know guys, whatever you want, I'll bring it to you. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.